So this question is using information and knowledge of place value to work out some linked calculations. So we're told in the question that 322 times 48 gives us 15,456. Any calculation using those digits or any multiplication calculation using those digits is always going to give those digits in the answer. We're just changing the place value of the calculation. So if I compare 322 times 48 to 3.22 times 4.8, well, to get from 322 to 3.22, I've had to divide by 100. So this answer is 100 times smaller. And you can check just by kind of counting the decimal places. So it would have been 3.2212 places. This one here, 4.8 and 48, so from 4, 48 to 4.8, that's 10 times smaller. And again, that means it's one decimal place smaller. So overall, I've got two places smaller in one part, one place smaller in my other part. So my overall answer is a thousand times smaller. So the answer to this calculation, I'm still going to get the same digits, but the place value would have changed. So this will then be a thousand times smaller. So that will mean it'll be three decimal places changed. So I'm going one, two, three. My new answer is going to be 15.456. Quite a neat little trick you can do for this is by counting decimal places. So I can say I've got three decimal places in my question, two there and one there. So I then have three decimal places in my answer, counting from the right. Similar sort of process for part B, I'm doing a comparison between my original calculation and what I've got here. So this is one, two, three, so that's going to be a thousand times smaller. This is two decimal places, so a hundred times smaller. So overall, I've got a thousand times a hundred. So this is actually going to be a hundred thousand times smaller. So I'm going to have the same digits in my answer, but I'm going to need to shift this one, two, three, four, five decimal places. So one, two, three, four, five. So my answer will be 0 0.15456. And again, we can use the place counting trick. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in my question, counting from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in my answer. And then for part C, I've got a division. Now, these are a little bit trickier. You just have to think really carefully about um, the problem that you've got and what's going to happen. It might be useful to do a bit of estimation. So you could estimate this by saying that's about 15,000 and 4.8 is quite close to 5. Now if I do 15,000 divided by 5, well 15 divided by 5 is 3, pop those three zeros on, so it's 3,000. So my answer should be somewhere around 3,000. So what that means is I'm going to need the same digits, 3, 2, 2, but you can see by comparing these two, I'm going to need to pop an extra zero on the end there to make this something like 3,000, so 3,220, rather than 322. And the reason why this works, if you look at our original calculation, which was 15,450, 56 divided by 48, that was 322. Now this, my original calculation was divided by 48. In my new calculation I'm dividing by 4.8. So I'm dividing my original number into 10 times fewer parts. So if I've got fewer parts, then the amount that I get is going to be greater. So if I've divided by 10 times fewer parts, I'm going to get 10 times more parts in my final answer.